Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Crystal and my Mono Ghost Challenge. And it's time to take on Mori's Gym. Which could be easy or could be difficult, I'm not entirely sure. On one hand, Ghost Pokemon are vulnerable to their own attacks, which is a rather odd, rather odd, ain't it? Most Pokemon aren't really vulnerable to attacks of the same type. Either they're usually neutral or they take half damage from them. Ghosts are an odd exception to that rule. Though, because of that, I'm going to have to try and fight creatively here, to a certain extent. I mean, I can probably just overpower Ghastly if I was using a Haunter, right? But I like to spread the love around a bit, you know? Help my other Ghost Pokemon advance into being at least, well, better than they are now, let's put it that way. Crap. <sighs> that just sucks. <sighs> you tried so hard, Stretch. Then you got licked by one lick. And then you lost your will to fight, practically. Stupid paralysis. It ruined my plan! <coughs> yeah, let's switch out. Yeah, I got two other Pokemon up to being Haunters already. Night downtime, because I was working on grinding in this game yesterday while watching some watching a movie, so yeah. I am ready and powered up for this stuff. Oh yeah. Give me that experience gold, baby. I could use some anyway. I gotta make sure I'm high enough level to take out Mori's Gengar. Because let's face it. It's gonna probably be able to drop most of my Pokemon in one hit with Shadow Ball. Just dang. There's really no defense against it, right? Besides, you know, hit with sleep. And be faster. So that's what we're gonna have to try and do here. And nearly has Nyx just dominating these Ghastlies. It's really sad. For my opponent, obviously, it's good for me. Well, Sage Ping was defeated. Hmm. Somehow I thought he'd be a bit more powerful. But I suppose I was also imagining the fight going, you know, ghastlies all the way. I'm not going to even try and level up my other Ghastly at the moment. Because it's not even close to learning Nightshade. And Nightshade's actually a useful move at this point in time, because, let's face it, Ghastlies don't exactly have, you know, a legendary amount of health. They're sort of quick, speedy demons that are meant to use special attacks, which they don't really get in this generation. Because Ghost moves count as physical attacks, which I've said before, but bears repeating, because it goes completely against the way they're built. I don't know why anyone built them the way they did, based on how they, um, set them up, but... Whatever, maybe they're planning on using Gengar and giving it some TMs to give it some cool, like, thunder punches and stuff, you know? Because you actually can do that with Gengar. You know, Haunter has fists, it can't learn Thunder Punch, or Ice Punch, or Fire Punch. Something a Gengar can really take advantage of, because it has a decent special attack, and it's fast, so it can throw out those punches real early on in the fight and potentially take advantage of weaknesses. But Haunter? No, it can't learn them, nor can Ghastly, so... Just have to make up for it, I guess. Okay, you're gonna curse me? Nah, lick. Man, I'm having a bad time with licks today. Ah, uh, Nightshade. So I don't get fully paralyzed, it should work. Ow. Man, this sucks. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Yes, yes, switch Pokemon. <laughs> Jeez. 
sorry. Yeah, I don't really keep tissue handy when I'm upstairs right now. Ugh. Well, at least we're almost done with this trainer, right? <laughs> at least Stretch is um, still at full strength, so I can start the next fight out in a position of relative strength, I guess. What? I lost? How can that be? <sighs> you only listed off a year. That's not that long of a time, actually. I would know. Time just seems to fly by, you know, nowadays. Aw, oh, man. Another Haunter to start off with? I'm gonna have to switch out again? Probably should have switched to Grey Lane and let it die, right? Oh, yeah, it knows Nightshade too now. Well, my Nightshade's better than yours by a whole three points of damage. But he got off his three attacks first, so that's all that matters. Yeah, Stretch, get him. Give him a lick. Lick him to death! Like he's candy! <coughs> okay, Jeffrey was defeated. Well, of course, you're gonna experience both as long as you continue to train Pokemon. Oh, yeah. You shall, huh? I don't know, that seems pretty cocky. I don't think I'm not just much of a slouch, especially when it comes to using ghosts. But whatever you say. Aww. Sleep. Now, if only I knew Dream Eater. Of course, I have to wonder how Mori's Gengar knows it, considering it's only level, what, like, 25 or something? And let's face it, you don't learn Dream Eater with Haunter until, like, level 40-something, so how does Mori's Pokemon know it? Did it pick up a TM for it? And where did he get it? Did he buy it? Did he find it? I don't know, it's one of those questions you can't really answer, right, and it's just not worth it, because... He doesn't tell you anything particularly deep or interesting about the game in the long run. Well, if I don't die, I'll try and curse it. Okay, let's do it, Nick. Nick, 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 Nick. Ah, that's something to knock itself out. Again? Damn! That's three paralysis in one episode so far, and all against me! Life just sometimes isn't very fair, is it? Okay, so not your little ghastly. I'm gonna hit you up with Nightshade. If I can get off. Shoot. <sighs> Double damn it. It was a critical hit. And I lost all my other, um, haunters already. Crap. <coughs> oh, Fatso actually had the speed advantage? Weird.
but has a very low attack stat, apparently. Come on, you can do it, Fatso! Save my bacon! <sighs> Doesn't matter, I won. <sighs> that was close to what I would have liked, though. I wasn't expecting things to go that wrong. <sighs> yes, now thank you for your donation. Now to head back to the Pokemon Center and heal up. Never probably have to switch team leaders right now, because... I don't want to take any chances on his Pokemon. I just want to drop them quickly and efficiently and just move on. Because let's face it, I want to get to that Gengar and drop it as fast as possible. The longer it stays around, the more pain it's going to be in my backside. Okay. We'll start off with Grey Lady. I don't know if she'll survive the entire um, fight, but we'll start off with her. I mean, it's not like she can do terrible or anything. Okay. Yep, yep, they've been revered as gods. Or at least demigods. Regardless, they've been revered as being important. And I want to know their secrets as well. Hmm. Good luck with that. Those Pokemon are rather elusive, to say the least. You gotta have special feathers to find them. And I wouldn't even bother with it anyway, because it's not really worth it. Well, let's do it, Grey Lady. Let's lick them. Aww. Since it's not going to off, I won't take any damage this turn, but I'm going to have to swap out. <coughs> if I don't want what happened there to hurt me any. Okay. Let's see. Nightshade. Why? I'll lose like a fourth of my hit points at most. And that only works if I went second. Because Curse affects you after your run combat. And then it won't hurt you at all if you're the one doing the, um. attacking and actually get a knockout blow. Plus, it means I can just keep switching back and forth, you know? <coughs> okay. Let's do it. Hypnosis. How do you like it, Gengar? I know you like to do the same tactic. So eat it. Now that you're asleep, I'm gonna give you a nightmare. So he doesn't wake up and blast you with a shower ball into the face, right? Nope, looks like it's out for good. Good night, good fight, because this one's over. The only thing he's got left at this point is another ghastly, and let's face it. My team still stands strong. Truly, Moriri is not the master of ghosts. I'm sorry, he has a haunter. He has two haunters, not two ghastlies. Mine bad. <laughs> let's bring in Nick. Let's make him feel better by showing him at least three of my Pokemon, right? Come on, go Nick. We're gonna nick the crap out of you, Haunter. Ah, no curse. Did you realize how dumb a strategy that was? The futility of it? Did you just try to mimic me? And how is it no mimic? Another TM? And why mimic me if I know basically all the same moves you're gonna know? <sighs> Morty, Morty, you should have been more clever. Seriously. 
You're meant to be my rival. Instead, you're a complete pushover. Well, at least now we can put him up to level 50 to obey us. And we can finally use Surf whenever we feel like it. Yes! Shadow Ball! Now I'll figure out who to give it to. Hmm. Obviously, it should go to one of the Haunters. Probably. It's funny it lowers special defense, considering none of the ghost Pokemon attacks count as special, but whatever. Next time, we'll finally be making our way to the next town, at least. If not next to GM, considering what's going to be going on there. Till then, see ya.